friends today we will be discussing design of staircase it is a very very easy trick to those who are not subscribed to my channel yeah please subscribe to my channel so let's get started so now first we design in design of staircase first we will assume riser and thread so now what is riser and what is thread here in this figure you can see the riser is a height of the step thread is the length of the step you can call it of the step, length of the step okay together this riser and thread together it is called as one step okay here we first we need to uh, assume what is the riser and what is the thread dimensions first we will uh, uh, select the riser as 6 inches so i have given in both inches feet, feet and inches format also and the mm mm and meter format also here the riser i have taken 6 inches that is nothing but 150 mm approximately equal to 150 mm so this riser sir uh, we need to take from the range 150 to 180 mm so generally the riser height is 150 to 180 mm the height of the riser and what about the thread thread we take it as a 12 inch okay that is approximately equal to 300 mm and it can be ranges from 250 to 300 mm the length of the thread ranges from 250 to 300 mm so in this figure you can see this is thread a riser and this is nothing but thread so thread okay together riser and thread forms a one step and this one is called width of the stair width of the stair that we will discuss later now this one is called pitch or slope that is represented by theta or alpha this one the angle is known as pitch or slope slope of the staircase this also we will calculate now okay so next step first step we assume riser riser as 6 inch and thread as 12 inch in the next step height of the building may be 10 feet that is 3 meter approximately height of the almost all buildings is 3 meter only that is 10 feet so now we will assume it is a dog leg staircase not open well staircase it is a dog leg staircase what is dog leg staircase means when you come to the landing you have to suddenly rotate to 180 degree in order to go to the second flight that is called dog leg sudden movement sudden turn is called dog leg staircase here the number of flights we assume as two number of flights that means uh, one landing will come between those two flights so number of flights we are assuming as two next height of one flight okay we have assumed two flights here height of one flight will be the height of building divided by two flights so height of building is 10 feet 10 feet divided by 2 will give 5 feet 5 feet is the height of the one flight height of the one flight next number of steps in one flight so how many number of steps comes in one flight that will be equal to height of one flight divided by riser height of one flight divided by riser what is height of one flight 5 in 5 feet that we got from the previous one in this one 5 feet now what is the riser we assumed 6 inch correct so this is in feet and this is in inch we need to convert 5 feet into inch if we convert 5 feet into inch it will become 60 how 1 feet will be equal to 12 inches 5 into 12 is the 60 so 60 inches 60 inches divided by 6 inches will be 10 inch inch cancels 6 on 6 tens of 60 so 10 so 10 numbers of steps we required in one flight okay so that means for two flights we required 20 number of steps clear next one so in this one in this figure you can see uh, the complete uh, section of the staircase is given so this is the height of the building 10 feet 3 meter this is the landing riser is also provided thread is also there riser is also there and pitch theta this is nothing but horizontal distance horizontal distance is from this point okay from this this point to the last one this is called horizontal distance okay total distance now we will see we have calculated number of steps now what are how many numbers of risers are required so we have one formula for that one number of steps is equal to number of risers so number of steps is equal to number of risers we have got 10 number of steps therefore 10 number of risers is required 
okay now we need to find out of threads number of thread equals to we have formula for that also number of risers minus 1 so 10 minus 1 will be 9 number of threads we require 10 number of risers we require here you can see riser is one number more than the thread how you just see this figure in this staircase how many risers are present 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of risers are present okay the riser number is 6 and just count the thread numbers 1 2 3 4 5 number of thread is there another one next thing comes we will go to the landing okay it will not consider as thread thread is up to 5 only so thread is 5 so that means riser 6 thread is 5 this always the formula for thread is riser minus 1 clear next so now we need to assume the width of the stair so this width of the stair is nothing but from this one to the this one so total width of the stair okay in this figure you can easily see that width of the stair okay here width of the stair we assume 3.5 feet to the 5 feet 3.5 feet to 5 feet for residential building for residential building if it is for office building or school building we assume as 5 feet to 6 feet the width of the staircase we assume as 5 feet to 6 feet why because here here the people will be more access access is very much more compared to the residential building for that purpose okay the next step so now we will find what is the horizontal distance the horizontal distance from this to from here to here what is the horizontal distance so that is equal to number of steps into thread number of steps 1 2 3 4 5 5 number of steps for one plate and for two plates it is total number of steps is 10 into 12 inch is the thread dimension so 12 into 10 is 120 inch 120 inch is the horizontal distance okay it is in inch we convert it to feet horizontal distance will be equal to 120 inch divided by 12 that is nothing but 10 feet we will get in 10 feet so horizontal distance is 10 feet next one last one so now how to find the slope in this figure you can see slope is nothing but pitch pitch is also known as slope that is theta that we calculate so this resembles the right angle triangle see this one at this end side is horizontal distance and this one is the vertical distance okay and this one is the inclined portion okay so here what is the tan inverse tan formula opposite by adjacent what is opposite side this is vertical one and adjacent side is horizontal distance horizontal distance we already got so now what is the vertical height of this that is height of one plate divided by horizontal distance height of one plate is 5 feet horizontal distance we got 10 feet here we got 10 feet okay so 5 divided by 10 is nothing but 1 by 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2 if you calculate that one you will get 26 degree 33 minute 54 second is the slope or pitch and here one note is that slope should be always less than 42 degree okay this 26 degree is okay it is correct but always this value should be less than 42 degree that is nothing but slope or, or pitch. Thank you for watching. Uh, Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon for more videos.